Well, that's not gonna work. Attention! Club 41, Flotsam Island's most prestigious pirate organization, is no longer accepting new applications for membership. Thank you for your continued interest, and please go away. Card? Card? What card? Printer's Inc., the lifeblood of the newspaper industry, lovingly harvested from squid udders. Wind still sucks. Watson Island endures 1,138th straight day of unwelcome winds. It's locked. No one allowed in there but Keelhaul or employees, Leapwood. You're thinking of becoming a reporter? Oh, heck no. Swab, seek, club cards. Hey, Davy. Call me Nithikin, kid. Everyone else does. I'd rather not. So. What sorts of swashbuckling do you go in for around these parts? Oh, we used to love all sorts of piracy here on Flatsom. Barely a day would go by without a good bar fight. Ship seizing, a buried treasure cropping up. Now it seems like all anyone wants to do is hang around and wait for the winds to change. Well, leave it to me and your sleepy little hamlet will be bubbling over with buccaneering boisterousness before you know it. Couldn't you just tell me how to contact Deep Gut? I'll be your best friend. Sorry, kid. No can do. I need pirate stories, and you need my source. Any questions? What's this deep gut person like, anyway? Trying to sneak some information out of me, eh? I can respect that, kid. Reminds me of me when I was your age. Oh, when was that? About 20 minutes ago? Bye. Keep up the pirating, kid. I'm rooting for you. Whoever built this jail really wanted to put the fur in the brig. Those eye carvings are creepy. Whoever built this jail really... From the jails, the flag, and the general air of perverted justice, I can only guess that this must be the Flotsam Island Courthouse. Ooh, I could go for a good grog right now. Or even a bad one. Hear ye, hear ye. Owing to the unprecedented downturn in criminal activity on Flotsam Island, I've locked up the courthouse and taken a long-delayed three-month sabbatical. Please don't break any laws until I return, or else. Sincerely, Judge Rhinestone. Pirates plundering your palace? Buccaneers bashing your balustrades? Swashbucklers slicing your stomachs? Then you need Morgan LaFlay, Pirate Hunter par excellence. Great, a pirate hunter. I need that like I need a fourth nipple. Alphabet sale. Free vowels while supplies last. It's locked. Screaming starfish! I think I've just found my ride off this stinking island. Not so fast, my well quaffed friend. Who? Reginald Van Winslow, captain of the Screaming Narwhal. And you are? Guybrush Threepwood, mighty pirate. Oh, really? What can I do for you, Mr. Mighty Pirate? to and strike your colors. I've come to seize your ship. You have? Jolly good. No one's been man enough to take the screaming narwhal for over two years. Oh. He's got a really good attitude for someone who's about to lose his ship. Nice ship. Were you drunk when you built it? <laughs> good one, boyo. 
But I didn't build the screaming narwhal. It was assembled by a committee of concerned flotsam citizens. Were they drunk? No, but they had to use whatever floated ashore. Hence, the aforementioned constructed by Sot's look. Well, if you didn't build the narwhal, why are you the captain? By tradition, whoever knocks the captain of the screaming narwhal off the deck gets to be the captain until he's knocked off by the next guy. So all I have to do is knock him off, huh? Do you know anything about Club 41? Club 41? Wonderful place. I haven't been there since I lost my membership card when I seized the narwhal. How'd you end up on Flotsam? Same as everyone else here, lad. The winds! I was chasing some brigand that had stolen my hard-earned booty when all of a sudden Flotsam's capricious winds picked up my ship, shredded it to bits, and plunked me down here on her bounteous shores. Why are you so happy about me seizing your ship? I love a good challenge. Girds the mind and sharpens the loins, don't you know? Huh? Be seeing you. I look forward to it. Hey, there's something in this sock. Club 41, probationary member number 37, Reginald Van Club. This should come in handy. That sock needs a good darning. Darn you, Sock! Sheer, sexy, and playful, with plenty of support for the active pirate. Prepare to be boarded, then, Winslow! <laughs> Bacon grease, boyo! Slickest stuff in the Seven Seas! Oh, crud, this jacket was an anniversary present, and now it's all covered with bacon grease. Man, is Elaine going to be P.O.'d? Now the dock is smoldering. Perfect! I don't think those embers are going out anytime soon. I never ever ever do a thing about the weather because the weather never ever does a thing for me. Flowers. What a crummy sconce. I better pick this up before someone notices, uh, trips over it. The doctor is busy. I'm not sure whether this is late Rococo or early Creepy. Sounds like he's busy. Alphabet! Wow, never thought I'd see a pirate selling glass unicorns for a living. Aye, and I never thought I'd see a talking baboon. So I guess we're even. Wow, never thought I'd. Aye. Ahoy there, scruffy artisan! I'm Guybrush Streetwood, mighty pirate. Ahoy yourself! I be Gaffer Clip Digit, pirate glassblower. How'd a crusty pirate like yourself wind up making little glass unicorns? Listen, matey, 
Glass blowing's every bit as dangerous as sailing the Spanish main. One false move with your glass jack near the glory hole, and you can kiss your eyeballs goodbye. I can? I'm not sure that's biologically possible. What can you tell me about Flotsam Island? Well, you probably already know about Flotsam Infernal Winds. But has anyone told you about the reefs? The reefs? Aye, the crystal reefs of Flotsam Island. Sharper than a dragon's tooth, they be. They encircle the island, shredding in a ship foolish enough to get caught in Flotsam's winds. Yikes. What's this alphabet sail all about? It's the latest thing. I make unbreakable tubes in the shapes of letters, which can be used to create festive, illuminated business signs, novelty mementos, or lamps. Kitchy. Aye, very camp. Consonants cost 48 pieces of eight. But today I'm giving away one free vowel per customer. Would you like a vowel? Well, I think I'd like one of those free vowel tubes. You'd like to buy a vowel, eh? Here you go! A U? What about A, E, I, O? Or even Y? All sold out. All we got is U-tubes these days. So, unicorns, huh? Aye. Graceful, delicate creatures they are. Though, to be honest, they aren't selling so well to the pirate community at large. For my next project, maybe I'll be making something that really speaks to them. So man, I can ever settle these blasted horny buggers. Thanks for chatting, but I got a wife and arch nemesis to return to. Hey, who doesn't? <laughs> Carvings of mermaids, or are they mermen? I don't. <laughs> don't touch those. Why? They're mine! Hi! Ah! Who are you? I'm Guybrush Threepwood, mighty pirate. And you are? Joaquin Jacinto de Mera Alfonso de Oro, treasure hunter extraordinary. What were you doing down there? Nothing. It looked like you were playing with dolls. They're not dolls. They're fully articulated porcelain power pirates. What in the name of Davy Jones's closet organizer are porcelain power pirates? They're the rarest and coolest action figures ever. I've been tracking them with the porcelain power pirate treasure maps hidden in special boxes of porcelain power pirate pear flavored breakfast cereal. I've spent years tracking them down, and I've almost got the full set. What kind of treasure do you hunt? Gold doubloons? Silver triploons? Anyone can find gold or silver. I look for the rarest of pirate treasures. I'm almost certain I'm going to regret asking this, but what is the rarest of all pirate treasures? Porcelain power pirates. How many PP pirates do you have left? The only power pirate I have not found is the ultra-rare, impossible to find, a dark ninja Dave with killer karate katana. I thought I might find it here on Flotsam Island, but I got scammed. Scam? Jace, some guy in a plaid jacket with waving arms sold me a ninja Dave map, but he just keeps sending me in circles. What makes dark ninja Dave so rare? Because a bunch of pirate parents had him banned on account of his pointy killer karate katana accessory. They said it was a choking hazard. Wimps. 
Mind if I take a look at that map? Yeah, it, it's useless. I'll let you know if I find anything. You're sure this Dark Ninja Dave is a valuable treasure, right? Oh. It's the stuff that dreams are made of. Porcelain dreams. Did the wind shipwreck you on Flotsam Island too? Yes, but I came here voluntarily in search of the elusive Dark Ninja Dave porcelain power pirate action figure. What's that big pink pile of dolls? Action figurines. Okay, what's that big pink pile of action figurines over there all about? Those are my extra pink pajama pierres, the lamest and least valuable of the porcelain power pirates. I loathe pink pajama pierre with the white hot intensity of a million exploding cannonballs. Can I call you Doro the Explorer? No. Look! It's a Ninja Day figure with throwing star action! Quit. Okay, Guybrush. Find your little porcelain. Just close your eyes and go to your happy place. Ew. I didn't see anything. Sorry, must have been a leaf. Jungle sure is noisy. For such an exclusive club, you'd think they'd have higher quality membership cards. Shortcut. 